G'day. Welcome to Soul Fix. It's Saturday morning. I'm just waiting for my anchor to swing. Uh, I got out a bit late this morning. I left something at home and had to run back and get it. So I lost about 20 minutes this morning, but it's no biggie. The sun's only just coming up. I just got in my spot. So I'm just waiting. I'm in 17 meters here. Just waiting for the anchor to grab, and I think it just did then. And then I'm going to pull in a bit of rope. I'll just pull in a little bit of rope to get me back to the edge, which is sort of just in front of me there. Um, it goes from, oh, yeah, the anchor's in. It goes from 14 and drops down to 17, 18, 19 behind me, out onto the sand. Um, same spot you've probably seen me fish before. So I drop my pick up on the top of the bummy, let a bit of rope out till I get to the back edge, which I'm pretty much on now. So I'll tie this off and then I'll get some belly in the water and get going. Uh, the old rod's seen better days. It must be about 20 years old, this rod. Um, a while ago, I lost a bit of it to the car door, so the tip's about a foot shorter than it needs to be. But anyway, it still works. Since um, I got these flashes, these flasher rigs by Cam Watson, you probably seen me using them before in my videos. The very first time he gave them to me, I thought, well, they'll be pretty cool to use as a fly. Um, it's not exactly what they were designed for, but they look like a fly. So I figured today, I'm out on my own. Jack's actually gone out with someone else, someone else this morning. A mate of his from work's been um, pestering him to go out with him for a long time. So, um, yeah, Jack went out with him this morning. So it'll be interesting to see how they go. But because I'm out on my own, I don't really care if I catch or not. Like I tell you guys every time, I just want to be out here. Look at this. It's bloody freezing this morning. There was ice on my windscreen when I started the car. It is cold. The Eastley's pretty strong. The swell is still pretty rolly. Um, Oh, here comes a boat. This guy followed me most of the way out. Now he's going to come over here and dog me, no doubt. I don't get it. Look at all this ocean. There's all this space. Why do people have to come and sit on top of other people? I don't know. Anyway, that's enough of a rant. Oh, yeah, he's coming straight over. So I'm going to chuck out this fly and do a bit of fly fishing. If I catch, I catch. If not, I don't care. I'm only going to be out here for an hour. I've got a few things to do this morning. I'm going to go in and see my new boat. So I'll get some, get this out in the water and see how we go. So, so let me just make a disclaimer here. Just adjust that. Let me just make a disclaimer. Uh, by no means am I a fly fisherman. Like absolutely, I'm terrible at fly fishing. Um, I'm just doing it today for something different really. Like I said, I always wanted to try one of those flashes. Thought it looked like a fly, so I'll give it a crack. So all I'm doing is just whacking it out. Um, I'm sitting 17, 18 meters of water here. So I'm giving it maybe 30 seconds a minute to sink down and then just slowly stripping it back. Just twitching it, bit of time, twitch, twitch, twitch. Just letting it slowly come back to the boat. Cast it back out. Let it sink back down through the water column, just like I would with my plastics or my baits. When it gets where I think it's near the bottom, twitch, 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 twitch it back in again. So, I don't know, I'll give it a crack, but yeah, like I claim, not a fly fisherman at all. In fact, not a fly fisherman's ass. But if I hook up, it'll be fun. So, see how we go. And barely today, I got a couple of uh, scones with jam and cream that sat around for a few days extra. I don't know, normally scones don't last in our house, but these ones managed to sit for a few days and go stale. So I got some scones and I got a couple of old scalies and some muleys that I bought that I'm just going to dice. Just cube up slowly as I'm fishing here. As I'm letting that sink, I'll just cube these up and just throw some cubes over the side. But scones, jam and cream, let's see how they go in the barely pot. Yeah, I got a bit of a touch there. Let's see if it comes back. So I got a bit of a touch, so what I'm letting it do is just letting the fly waft down again. So it feels like it might have, you know, stunned it if it's a bait fish or whatever, it's stunned it and now it's floating back down. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Come on. Right, so let's have a look. So now I'll just give it a few twitches. The little bait fish is going to get away from you. You better eat it quickly. Oh, yeah, I think it's just something small. Might be the skippy, there's a heap of skippy down the barely trail here. It's quite a big hook on this, so skippy are probably not going to hook up so easily on it. It is a 7.0. If I swatch, switch down to a smaller fly, I'll probably give him a better chance. 
for a skippy, but that's not what I'm after here. I want something big to burn some light off me. Switch this back in, cast it back out. Let's see if I can't get another sniff. That was on the drop there. I, was, I can't, only just sort of cast it and it was on the drop, sort of falling down, which is normally where my plastics get hit as well. So I'll just do the same with this, just keep it moving, keep it on the drop as much as I can. So I'll twitch it back in, cast it back out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's not pretty at all. <laughs> in fact, that's anything but pretty. Try that again. Yeah, I'm certainly no fly caster, but just getting out there, that's all that really matters. I think what's, what's going on here, I think that fly is actually too big for this line. This is only a six, seven weight line, and I think that fly's too big, and the line hasn't got enough of weight to drag the fly through the air. If I went to something smaller, that's the smallest sort of size I normally use for skippy and stuff. If I went to that, I'm pretty sure that's the one I caught the snapper on last time too. If I went down to the smaller size, it'd probably fly through the air a little bit better, but I'm going to stick with this flasher because, I don't know, it's just what I want it to do. And it does look pretty cool in the water, this flasher. Um, I'll just stick with it. I can get it out to where it needs to be, that's, that's all it needs to do. I'm not here to set a fly casting record. Well, I don't know if you can see them. Check out the skippy down here. Yeah, absolutely in plagues. So what I keep doing is I'll keep my barely pumping here. Hopefully keep the skippy right underneath the boat here and then I try to get my fly out behind the skippy there because that's where the snapper will be. Um, yeah, otherwise you're just going to hook a skippy every single cast when there's this many of them around. So I'll just try to keep the barely pumping and keep them near the boat and then the snapper will tend to always hang back a little bit. I don't know why, there's a bit more spooky skippy, I don't seem to care less. Oh yeah, here we go. See, that fly, that fly was just on the drop. As I said, I just cast it out and it was on the drop. This is not huge, but it's, I don't think it's a skippy. Skippy don't normally... It's got, well, it's got a bit of size to it. So the fly was just on the drop, I cast it out, it was probably... I don't know, I guess it would have been mid-water. It would have probably sunk maybe 10 metres. Oh, and this is when that one-to-one -one wind ratio just really comes back to bite you. <laughs> it's all part of the fun of fly fishing, though. And there's my fly, my fly lying back on the reel. It's not a huge fish, but... God, it's hard to lift on this little outfit. This is more a trout outfit than a saltwater fly outfit, but anyway, I was only out here for a laugh to have some fun. And it certainly is that. Oh, it's actually got a bit of weight to it, or is it just this outfit? I don't know, you can't tell. Oh, the old one to one ratio shoot. Really doesn't do you any favours. I think this is a good sized fish for my dinner. It's been really hard. This winter's been there's been some absolutely glamorous days, but there's been some like just weeks and weeks of total crap this winter where it's been really hard to get out. And as I've spoken about before, it's actually got some weight. As I spoke about before, I don't keep fish in my freezer, I like to eat fish fresh, so it's been 
Uh, last week myself and Jack got nothing but small ones. So we didn't eat fish last weekend. So it'd be nice to actually eat some fish this weekend. My original plan was to actually go uh, go down to the uh, the reefs and see if I could find some kingfish, but with this way this swell the way this swell's been the last few days, I don't think it'd even be any close to them. Oh come on baby. I can't see it, but it feels like it's a reasonable fish. It's not a skippy, you can you can tell the way skippy fight, they've got that real pulsing sort of tail beat. This feels like it's something a bit more solid. Oh yeah, there he is down there. Oh, it's actually a decent fish. This might be too big for my dinner. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a pinky, it's a decent one too. Oh, now I've got to try to net this thing on fly. This is where it becomes tricky because the fly rod is obviously a lot longer than a normal rod. And trying to get it close to the boat to net. Oh my lord, that is a decent fish. Yes, got him. There we go. Snapper on fly. He's actually a good fish. He'll probably go close to 80, I reckon. Have a guess. I'd say he'll go 80. Nice. He's actually probably too big for what I really wanted. I'm going to let this guy go. So I'll get him back as quick as I can. And um, he can go back. I'll see if I can get a decent size one for my lunch and my dinner. These bigger ones are all spawning at the moment as well, hence why the K-Bend sounds closed. Alright, let's see if he's got a swim. Come on buddy. Yeah, these guys are all, these bigger guys are all spawning at the moment, so I don't really want to keep him. Let's see how he goes. Come on mate. You got this. Yeah, he looks good. Yep. He's good. Yoo Pretty chuffed with that. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, do I stick with a flower or do I go back to conventional tackle? Everything tells me to be lazy and just whack a bait out, but I think I'm gonna stick with a fly, see if I can get another one. I've come this far, I'll stay with it. And my dodgy casting, it worked. Yoo Oh yeah. So that guy went 80, he went 85 centimeters, that guy. So he was a decent fish. That's not bad. I think that might be my best snapper on fly, actually. 85, he actually didn't fight that hard for a fish that big. Um, yeah, didn't run as hard as I thought he might have. A fish that big would normally run pretty hard. But anyway, I'm pretty chuffed. Let's see if I can get this back out. Some more dodgy casting. Ah, and I'm back in again. Oh, that was a bit silly. I put my put this rod in the holder this is the whole reason I've got a butt on this rod because <laughs> I'm lazy I put it in a holder and I was just over there checking my phone because I had a few messages come through turn around and the rod's bent over this one's not as big as the last one he says as it starts taking line it's kind of like the last one did too this one doesn't feel anywhere near as big as the last one so I was just having a sip of my coffee and checking a couple of messages that were dinging as, as this was sinking down. And sure enough, I hooked another one. This is a small one. This could be my dinner one. Actually, no, this is too small. This one's too small for dinner. There you go. <laughs> Snapper number two on fly. Cam Watson, your flasher rigs actually work as a fly, buddy. Um, on a heavier outfit, they'd probably be awesome. This guy can go back. Let's see if I can't get a dinner size one. Have another touch here. I'm gonna say it's not too big, but you can't tell. 
Sometimes they just come in and have a little sniff of that fly. Sometimes they whack it really hard. So I'll just give it a couple of twitches, burn it, then let it pause, let it sink again. Burn, pause, let it sink. Just playing that old injured bait fish looking thing. Yeah, that's not interesting, I think it's something smaller. It did feel like a bit thicker-ish, kind of skippy-ish. Let it sink down a bit further. Sometimes the snapper will hang down underneath the skippy too. The skippy will come right up to the top of the burley and eat at the back of the boat like they are here. Look at them. It's crazy. And the snapper will hang down below, picking up the scraps. I've got plenty of burley. The old scones with jam and cream, doing the trick. <laughs> the skippy like him anyway. Nah, he's gone. Something was having a look. It's starting to get a bit late now, the sun's starting to come up a bit too high. That's not there. I'll give it another 20 if I don't get one by then. What I'm going to do is catch a couple of skippy for my dinner since I couldn't get an eating size fish. I mean, I could have taken that big one, but that's way more than what I'm going to eat tonight. And I don't like freezing it. Plus, like I said, those big ones are all spawning at the moment. I'd rather not take a bigger one like that. That's the future of our fishery. The smaller one around 60, 65 is perfect for me. But it shouldn't be too hard to get a feed of skippy. I don't think it'll be hard at all, actually. If I put a little piece of bait on, I'll probably get them. Or I could just go to a smaller fly, see if I can get one off fly, but get a bait probably way more efficient. I think I'll get the skippy hits now. Yeah, the skippy is smashing me now. That fly's got a little bit higher up. It's sort of just down here in the belly and the skippy are banging it. But the hook's a bit too big for skippy, I don't think. Seven eight's a bit too big for them to sort of... Oh, you'll hook them, but it's not as efficient as something smaller. Righto, so I just cast that fly out while it's sinking. Got a little tiny Cuban mule here, HP tackle skirt. I'm just going to drop it over here. See if I can't get a couple of skippy for dinner. Um, the Eastley's picked up, it's just got a whole lot stronger in the last 10 minutes. It's even white capping and it's not too nice. I've got things to do today anyway. Oh, they're hitting it on the surface. This should be actually a formality. In actual fact, what this is, is a recipe for disaster. Because I'm going to hook up a skippy here and then sure as anything, that fly rod's going to go and I'll be having a double hook up. Not a bad thing. Skippy. Yeah, I didn't think that would take long. There you go. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. So I'll just grab probably six of these. These will be my dinner. Skippy, alright. If you eat them fresh, they're not too bad. Just simply fry them up in some crumbs. So I'll grab a handful of these and then I think I'm going to get out of here because this leaf is getting a bit ugly now on top of the swell and I've got some stuff to do today anyway so I'll stick this in and get back into it, get a few more. Jesus. Oh, all things got decidedly ugly. <laughs> this leaf is really starting to whip up now. It's blowing white caps. Anyway, what happened there? I ended up getting five skippy, which will be dinner there in the bag under the seat here on ice. So, um, I was just getting a couple of skippy because I figured the snapper thing's kind of over anyway now the sun's up. And a bigger than normal swell came through, lifted the boat and um, the anchor, the prongs on the anchor just straightened out. So then the anchor pulled. So I figured it was as good a time as any to leave. I've got some stuff to do today. Got to spend a bit of time with the wife and my young bloke. And I'm going down to see Ellen to go and have a look at my boat as well. So I'm going to head in now, have some breakfast and a coffee. If you like our stuff, stay tuned. Myself and Jackie got some plans tomorrow afternoon, Sunday. Tomorrow afternoon, yeah, we've got some plans and we got a little um, challenge from Black Magic Tackle to try and catch some fish on some gear that they've given us. So stay tuned and hopefully tomorrow afternoon we'll be back into it again. Thanks for watching. Oh. 
the old turn it face sillies. It's nice on here, so I'm glad I'm up, please. It's not gonna be the spray. Uh, you wouldn't want to be in a center console or a dinghy because it's bloody freezing and yeah, getting wet on days like this is just not funny. Uh, I know, I'm sitting on 16 knots, I'm just cruising. This boat loves it. It's all good.